Hi guys, I'm EG here. So today I'm here with another uh, D standard deck profile, and this time I'll be covering um, one of our new uh, right line, which is uh, Gandiva. So it is a very interesting deck. That at first I thought the deck is kind of meh. It's like okay, it does some stuff. It's do some cool stuff, but probably just that, right? But then it surprises because you can just kind of making it as a budget deck and it just bring you games and it just keep topic and as long as is there is a like a trio tournament you can always see uh, Gandiva being an option as well not all people will pick Gandiva but uh, you still have a high chance and let's look into the deck list and find out why now the right line I actually prefer uh, the Basagra right line for quite a few reasons. One is that once you get to your equipment right, you get yourself one of the equipment right, and that can be used for this card on your grade 2 right, and you'll pick it back up and you can just do it uh, with your grade 2 right. So, um, what you need to do is just to find one card to discard for this. Then after that, this will be your cost for two more right lines. So you only need one card from your hand to actually go through the whole right line, which is very good. So it saves your hand. Um, also, you squeeze one card from your deck, so it makes everything a lot uh, stable just by doing this process. Now, some people still prefer to use the uh, original right line for like a free. Uh, right depending on if your opponents have a lot of stuff or if, uh, don't have a lot of stuff or get a free call if you have your opponents have a lot of stuff on the field but um, I prefer to just take out those randomness because uh, when playing this deck I want to make it simple so I don't want to make myself to be in a situation where I want A to be done but instead we need to go for B or when we want B to be done, it goes to A. With this right line, you always just ditch one card for this, going here, going here. So you don't need to worry about any other things. Um, and this is one reason why uh, Overlord was trying to use at least the great one to grab you something just so you can ditch for a free right line. So yeah, and this of course is one of our main deck card. And then we have two of the best harvest. So this is a very good draw power card as long as you can retire a lot of stuff uh, during your main phase. Um, so that's basically it and if you use it well you can actually get to draw a lot of cards and uh, some people actually questioning like the timing to actually use this card but to me it's like basically you have it you can just use it because if your opponent have a lot of regards you retire a lot of them you get to draw a lot if they only have one you use this plus Gandiva skill you already can draw two right so it didn't hurt you at all and uh, well let's also look into uh, Gandiva skill just in case if anyone of you don't know about his skill so first is during your turn, if your opponent's regard is being retired, you can buy one card face down from your drop zone. You can, it's not a must. And then uh, during your turn, for each face down card in your bind zone, your friendly units will get plus 2k. If you have 5 or more, you get one critical. So as long as you bind 5 of your own cards from your drop zone, you will have plus 10k to your friend, which basically is kind of a personal right, and you get a crit. And then uh, a once per turn skill, kind of last one. Then you can choose up to five of your opponent's regards, and each one of them have to be has to be like different grades. So you can't pick two grade zeros. You need to pick only one grade zero, one grade one, one grade two, one grade three, one grade four, or maybe one grade ten, depending on what uh, your opponents have. But you choose five regards that has to be all in different grades. 
and after that you will uh, review the top five cards of your deck and if the cards you reviewed matches any of the grades that you selected for your opponent's regards you get to retire them so say if your opponents have a grade 0, 1, 2 and 3 on the field and you target all of them because they are all different grades but if they have a 0, 0, 1, 1 then you can only pick one of the zeros and one of the ones and make sure you pick the right one because if you uh, do the bingo game open your top five of your deck and it matches great you can only retire the ones that you selected before you review the five so make sure you pick uh, carefully and uh, if you can only pop one of your opponent's regards or less you will get to draw one and you will also get to buy one card from your face down uh, from a drop zone so that is very important and this retire will also pop uh, Gandifa's skill to uh, bind another card, so uh, which is very important. Is you always want to have uh, five, at least five cards bind face down as fast as possible, so that actually helps you a lot. Now next, uh, three more Gandifa's because PY is also important even though we can stack up power so much but uh, we always want to have more power so that we can punch up on so hard even if we can't do more than three attacks sometimes that happens so yeah just making me for that reason and in case you need to soul blast cards personal is always helping you to fill out the soul okay Next, two of this guy, Scarlet Flame Bow General, a Stir Gunner. So when this unit is placed on Regard Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Gandiva in his card name, you Soul Blast one and bind another Regard face down. So it helps you to increase uh, face down buying cards. Then choose one of your opponent's regards and retire it. If you cannot retire anything, you draw a card and choose one card from a drop and buy a face down so um, if you can pop you pop if you can't pop you actually increase your face down buying cards and you also get a draw card which is very important uh, and it also helps you increase your um, face down buying zone by binding your own uh, regards because you don't always have enough resources in your drop zone uh, your opponents may not attack you so much, so you don't have a lot of active discard to happen uh, unless you keep calling over your stuff, which is not a good idea. And this card helps you out. Right. And then I'm using two of the Meteor Flare Dragon. Uh, the plus 10k, I usually don't care because I don't always get uh, to empty my opponent's board. But when I want to actually activate more retiring so that I can bind more cards face down to make the process a lot faster, this is a card that helps me out. Because Gandiva, uh, we usually can get two out of it, but sometimes it just didn't happen. And this is some, something that can help you to actually pop something that you really need to pop uh, from the same color. All right. Next is uh, Dragrita Elfakar. So this is a direct Gandiva support. When your Vanguard is a Gandiva, uh, attacks a Great Free or higher Vanguard, you can counter plus one, find this guy face down. So again, it helps you to increase that and look at the top five cards of the deck. Choose up to one Great Free or less unit card from among them, call the Regard Circle and shuffle your deck. So, this is your uh, fourth attack enabler, but you make sure you do attack with this card first because his skill pops when your Gandiva Vanguard attacks. So you need to attack with this first, use a Gandiva to attack, bind himself, call another one so that you can do more damage. And this phase unbind will be another 2k to your front row. So the new card that you call 
um, can always be hitting something at least. Next, uh, I'm running four of these Scarlet Flame Bow General uh, Ru Guns. So his skill is when this unit plays on a regard circle, if you have a uh, Gandiva Vanguard, kind of plus one, choose one of your opponent's regards and retire it. If you cannot retire, draw a card and choose one card from your drop and bind it face down. So, yet another retiring to pop uh, Gandiva skill. Or if you can't pop, you can at least draw one card back and buy one of your own. So you still get to find uh, by all means, which is very important. Uh, I usually just use him to draw, but if I really need the retiring power, he's always here. Uh, and then it will activate Skandiva to find another card. And to uh, squeeze my deck even more, since I'm doing a lot of main phase uh, retiring, I'm using a Dragon Tree, Red, Draco, Badical. So this card, I don't place any Dragon Tree markers because we don't have any mask unit. And unless Gandiva is going to get a mask, which maybe not, uh, we don't activate that part. And the second skill is when your opponent regards is retired during your main phase. Once per turn, so last one, we the top five of the card uh, of the deck. Choose up to one grey one unit among them, call it the regard circle, ship the deck. So you actually have a chance to uh, increase your board. Of course it's not always happening because we do run a lot of like great twos and threes but um, being able to have a chance to do that is already helping you a lot sometimes it just you you will find your own stuff you will uh, have some of them retire because they are a threat to your opponent and this card at least helps you bring some back at least have a chance and next is a very important card of the deck which is uh, Swordsman of Crimson Crimson Scales uh, Barnia Barnania Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that uh, At the end of the battle, that unit, this unit boost If uh, any player's regards will retire this turn Then you can bind this unit to draw a card So you increase your bind And turning this card into another card in your hand So that you can survive for your opponent's turn then you can swing them hard again next turn and as long as you keep binding your own cards any card in your hand can be a beater right because if you bind 10 cards it's plus 20k to the front row even a trigger hits 25k that's enough and this is already like 28k that's still back enough as long as you get the 10 bind uh, that will help you a lot and then i'm running two of the Scarlet Flame Bow Soldier, Bowsen. So this card has a back row Riga Circle skill, make sure it's back row. Mayor of Anger with Gandiva uh, in name attacks. So it's uh, the same timing as this. If your bind zone has three or more cards, which is very easy, you can bind this card face down and counter charge one. So that you can uh, actually prepare uh, for the next pop, uh, for the next turn, you use Gandifa because we are not using the right line. There's no uh, cost reductions, and counter charges are actually quite important in this deck. So here we are. And then uh, for PGs, if you want to use the uh, older PG, feel free to use it. I just don't have that much around me, uh, but so far this is still fine. If you uh, in a meta with a lot of uh, triple drive, feel free to chuck in the promo VG. But again, to me, it doesn't matter too much. And triggers, uh, Dragon Empire OT, because we have crit, we have high power, which standing always good. And to uh, make sure opponent is always trying hard to guard. So in crit four. Normal crit 4 and then 3 tanky draws and 4 heals. Uh, heal, I so far don't see a need to switch into any of the effect heals 
because um, just staying base with 15k shield is good enough at least that's what I think um, crawl we do have a lot of draw power but I still think draw trigger is kind of safer than using front in this deck um, of course having front will make your front row hit a little bit harder but we are not in a position that we always want to protect our front row because they are always cards that finish using the skills so what we want is to draw into something that can go to the field and use the skill so at least from my point of view I think draw is still better than front but if you like front a lot more feel free to use front more than draw that's totally fine but if you ask me in a Gandiva deck do I prefer front or draw I would say draw yeah as long as we keep drawing cards we use a 5 we guard a lot easier and then we just swing back and as long as it's get back to our turn we will swing a lot harder and usually we can easily find 5 cards so uh, Gandifa will always have a crit so your opponents will always need to guard the vanguard attacks while being annoyed by high power regard powers and as long as you have uh, the 4th attack going in that will just burn their brain because they need to save a lot of cards from you um, and that's how you win games and that's what this deck is good for it's just hit hard hit more than three times have a lot of cards in hand you just don't know why you just have a lot of cards in hand guard for all the attacks and go back to you you just win hard again your opponents keep dropping cards and once the like advantage difference increase to a certain level you will just play yeah so that's it for this this deck profile things are quite easy and i never thought this deck can go into this kind of a level because when i use it it just just crazy <laughs> yeah just so easy to get mad because you can just okay i just pop this i pop that in turn one i get at least five fine hit for crit hit four times and like in the turn or two i just win games you just never know how easy it is until you actually try it and most of the deck content is actually quite cheap even though i'm using some of the high rarities uh but like this is a rare but i think this increases in price uh, these are basically what in the set uh, this is a triple rare but if you don't have this that's fine you can simply just chuck in uh, probably two more of this it's just a common PG's are PG's and if you are really like hard to find the sewing crit you can just use normal crit doesn't matter at all but uh, in festival collection we have some reprints as well so it's rather easier to get but again if you don't have all the effect draws all the effect uh, crits that's fine in this deck trust me it, of course if you are like compared to 5k draw to 10k shoot draw uh, 10k shoot draw will be always better and you will always find a moment that you're lagging 5k and because you're not using that that's for sure but does it going to affect you every single match with this deck i would say no yeah so uh up to you make it cheap have fun with it and if you want to make it slightly better pay a little bit more for effect triggers and you find yeah so if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below subscribe for more deck profiles deck fights unboxing videos i do a lot of those um, yeah i just want to push myself a little bit more higher so any sort of help appreciate it and yeah probably that's it i will see you in the comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video signing off